welcoming you to the top 10 iPad apps. First one's Doodle Army. That's the worst app out that of the works. 10. This is the free version, so it isn't that good, just saying. If you, I recommend getting the full version because you will get much more I, um, worlds and levels. And With more characters as well. With Doodle Army, you get six worlds when when you start. You unlock different levels, and as you can see, you can get different characters. You can get Santa Claus, but you have to unlock stuff. The only thing why we didn't give this that good is the graphics aren't actually that great, as you can see, and it's like. It isn't the best game ever, and you, it isn't that addictive. This is number nine, and this is Dino Rush. Dino Rush is an insanely addictive game, but sometimes you either really, really want to play it, or you don't want to play it at all. You can play as Dundee, who is the first character, and then you can unlock Dodo, Marvin, and Justin. This is a free game, but... Free move still hasn't been out and it's been like a year so that's why it hasn't got high. All you do is you just jump and collect fruits. But see this death meter? If you get hit by anything or you don't collect enough fruits, you will die. Uh, try to collect as many fruits as you can. You get money, and then with the money, you can buy all different characters. And, and you can buy some powers. When they... And that's Dynamax. It seizes HD. Yeah. It's an iPad, and it's me HD. Seuses, this is the paid version. The free version is very bad. With the... Oh, sorry. Go in the easiest world first. Well, so with can... the paid version, you get all these worlds. Plus, well, we haven't gone that far, but yeah, I'll just go on the easy world to show you how it is and if you would like it. So let's go on an okay level and just jump. It's like a level game. You just unlock levels, jump, do whatever. Yeah. The it's only like annoying like thing Super about Mario this games. game is you. When you get stuff and everything, you only have three lives. And, like, even if someone just touches you, sometimes they don't even touch you and you die for no reason. So it's quite glitchy, but they'll probably fix that in the future. If you like level games and, like, you can find secrets in this game as well. But it isn't that mm. addictive, really. It's not that fun. Um, it depends what person you are. But, this yeah. is number That's six, it. and it's Fruit Ninja. With this, if you can see the background, you can change them by going into the options and um, settings, and you can change your blade as well. We got the American one, which is here. You can select the um, disco blade with a different color each time you swipe it. If you can see, you can't really see properly. You can just pick each one, but we're going to pick the American one. Even though we're not Americans. And then um, we'll just show you the game quickly, classic mode. And all that you do is cut the fruit. But um, um, if a bomb comes, if you hit it, then the game's over. And you get as many points as you can. If you, Some fruits have more points. Like if you hit three fruits in a row, you, you get, get a combo. A combo. And if you get a special fruit called Critical, which I just got, it gives you 10 points. You can also get 5 or how many you do in one go, you get more points. If you lose 3 lives, By you dropping die. anything, then, you die. Yeah. And you try to get as many as you can. Whoops, I just dropped one, see? And we'll just go as far as we can. We basically explain everything. Just, it's a very fun game. But as it you, isn't really that. As you can see, I'm going to beat the high score good. soon. Which is 74. Oh, one more. I need to drop. And that is. And apart from. Fruit Ninja. Hello, this is Cut the Rope. Basically, most of you should know this game.
paid version you get all of these levels and updates you will get new levels um, and I'll just show you some levels basically this is the objective of the game it's a bit laggy like loading but it's okay <laughs> and all they do is try to get the candy into the monster's mouth with the three stars this is level one so it's very easy once you get through it it gets even more harder so if we go to the cosmic box we can show them the extra features so this is just a boring old thing but if we if you move on to the next levels with the paid version it's worth buying so let's go to the cosmic box go on level seven hopefully this will have the thing we're looking for yeah, it probably will um, no it won't but you can see there's bubble basically you can switch to gravity so if I switch to gravity I can turn it sorry turn it upside down and then I can swing it here turn it upside down and well very hard but still and that's um cut the rope this is number five and it's Zombieville HD Oops. I'm not sure if this is the paid version or not. Probably is, yeah. Um, USA. This is the USA version. So you can pick any character. Character. If you know the game Mini Gore, you can get him. You can get a clown. I'll pick a clown because I like clowns. Um, the clown. game Mini Gore is also very good, and it was. We couldn't pick whether this or mini goal, but in the end we decided to pick this. Basically, I'll try get past this level as quick as I can. You get in the doors to get some bullets or money. You can get a bat as well. And, and with those bullets and money, you get loads of updates. And you um, can buy guns and stuff. You buy guns. You can. I don't have any guns now because level one. I'll try to get past this level as quick as I can. Let me just basically go in every door you can to get some money. And the money's in the top corner. Switch guns here. Uh, the iPhone version's much different. We will do a review on iPhone as well. Um, okay, and that's this it. Is Angry Birds. Okay. You should know it by now. It's a very addictive game. Okay, there's the black birds, the white birds, the red birds, the blue birds, the big red bird, the and green birds, types of and birds. there's the mighty eagle. And there's different types of birds. The red one doesn't do anything but scream. The white one lays out eggs. The black one is a bomb. Um, the green one is a boomerang. The big fat one knocks down like every single thing in its path. The mighty eagle kills every single green pig on the on its whole map, and that's all the birds. We'll oh, and there's we'll a yellow fast one. We'll show you the mighty eagle. Oh, we'll show. Look, and uh, there's a and tiny later little in the blue game, one. You will get which, these blue birds, and when you tap them, you can zip, they split them to three. Okay. Okay, and. Your goal is just to kill all the pigs. We'll show you the mighty eagle now. So, one second. Go, go to any level. We're going to go to level 13 because we've never managed to do that. To you click level. on the eye and then you see a can of tuna appears. By the way, it costs money for the bird, but it's up to you if you like this game or not. Yeah, You might just think, oh, this is just terrible. It's going to... It's just going to be a tuna can. It won't do anything. Maybe the pigs will just eat it. Well, no. It's actually really powerful. When you throw it, he comes and all of them... This it's that's Fastball 2. This is number three on our list. There's three different worlds. You get these... If you finish beginning, which has 60 levels, you get evolution. If you finish evolution, which has got 20 levels, you go on to... Experience which has and experience levels. has the same. We will start with um, level forty-two on beginner. Basically, all you do is just um, go with the ball, and you have to jump over obstacles. And if you touch anything at all, you die. Apart from the blocks, um, we will show you. There's a, like a mode or like a space mode. 
or future mode, I don't know what it's called. Uh, we'll show you that quickly right now. Okay, um. this is a cheat that I found the other day. If you click on theme from cartoon to futuristic, it's a different one. I think it's quite hard to be honest, that's my opinion, but it just looks much more different and cooler. And you start from another side. Because normally you start from this side, but on this game you start from this side on this mode. I really, I find the waves, they've turned into laser and they're easier, but the obstacles are all harder because they're a bit bigger. And that's possible too. So, and this is Tiny Wings. Basically, you have objective of each nest you go, so... This is the next week, next week Look, unlocked. we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're on our eighth nest. And um, basically, I'll try to do this right now. We have to be 34 seconds in fever mode. But we'll just get into the game, show you what to do. You have to tap when you go down the hills. And you just try to go as high as you can. You fly by letting go. I'll sh when the stars come back up, back behind you, that's fever mode. And what the objective is for our nest is to be 34 seconds in fever mode. Here you can see there's seconds and your score. So I'm on 16 seconds now. And you go on each island and there's objectives all the time. Trying to beat them, you won't get bored. Um, this I've is an incredibly fun game. I hope I've done it now. Oh, I didn't do it. <laughs> you missed it by one and a half seconds. Okay, yeah, that's, that's not fair. That's really frustrating. But this is number two. It's a really fun game. We're really addicted to it. But it can really get in your nerves. Yes. It, it so. costs 60 people. I really recommend getting it. And that um, is the number one game. Oh, by number one, we don't mean business. This is... Plants versus zombies. Okay, so you can go quick play or either one's adventure. We've done the whole game, so you get locked in fruits. If you go on Almanac, you see all the plants you've done. We've got every plant because we're, like, amazing. And you can see all the zombies you've unlocked. There's loads of zombies. It's a, a very interesting game, so let's just show you um a level how to play so we just if pick you which ones we just want. pick random ones but you should like always pick the sunflower because you want suns yeah but we just pick random ones just saying so don't like pick the ones we pick because it's we're... very important that you get sunflowers if you're in nighttime levels because sun does not fall from the sky suns basically pays for what you put on um on your field and you just stop the zombies getting to your house that's basically it it's very addicting addictive addictive and we'll show quick play main menu leave i personally really like this thing what they've done which even if you stop in the middle of the level it'll take you back to the exact second in that level you can play day levels night levels pool levels which you unlock Fog levels, which are really hard. Roof levels on the roof, and you can only use certain plants. Mini games. Or survival. Which is really hard. You have achievements, which you need to do. Um, you have a shop where you buy stuff from. We haven't bought everything, really. But some of them are really worth it, and some of them are just rubbish. That's it, and that's the end of our program. Thank you for listening.